Hello everyone. Um, today we're talking about slope with similar triangles. So in your composition book, this is going to be titled 3.3 slope with similar triangles. So go ahead and write that in. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a few things that I want you to notice about this graph. Please do not draw these triangles in your graph because it's not super important to have. I just want you to understand what's happening and what's going to be happening in the next few examples. So again, don't um, write this in your composition notebook. Just watch me and what I'm doing in this graph. Okay, so first I want you to notice what kind of triangle is triangle ABC? So remember whenever I say triangle ABC, I need to start at A, B, and C. So I'm talking about this triangle right here. So what kind of triangle is that? Yes, you are correct. It is a right triangle. How do we know? It has a 90 degree angle right here. So whenever we're talking about slope between similar triangles, we have to make sure um, that they're always right triangles. They can never be any other kind of triangle. So keep that in mind. Um, then the next question I want to ask you is, how is triangle DFG related to triangle A, B, and C? How are these two triangles, how would you compare them? What's the same, what's different? So A, B, C, D, F, G. You are absolutely correct. They're the same size and the same shape. Same size and same shape. So we call that they are congruent triangles. Next question I have for you is how is this triangle AKD, so this one right here, AKD, how is that related to ABC, triangle ABC? Think about it. Okay, so these two triangles are similar in shape. So similar, remember, means that they're the same shape, but they are a different size. So notice AKD is bigger than ABC. So they're similar, okay? Now, the last question I wanna ask you is, what is true about this line AC, CD, and DG? What is true about those lines? They're all, they all form this one big line. They're all part of the same line. So that means that they all have the same slope. So we can actually use similar triangles to find slope. Okay, so we're going to look at a few examples. Um, stay with me. This was just a quick illustration so that you can understand what we're talking about. This is practice problem number one. Please do this in your composition book with us um, along with the video. Use your graph paper that we gave to you today during class so that you can graph these two triangles and work the problem out with me. Get a little bit shorter. That's because I had to sit down so that you could see the graph in the question. Okay, so here I have this lovely graph and it says these directions they write a proportion comparing the rise over run for each of the similar triangles so I've got big triangle small triangle okay so first we're gonna find I want to know what is the rise of the larger triangle so our rise and I'll put in parentheses L for larger and then we're gonna have to find the run also Okay, so the rise of the larger triangle is in purple here, okay? And so this look, should look familiar, same thing, it's slope. So the rise is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the rise is six, and the run is in the green, it's one, two, three. So the rise is three. Okay, great. Now, we need to find the rise over the run for the smaller triangle. So I'm going to put an S, rise over run. So again, the rise is in the purple here. So we rose one, two, 
and we ran down the street. Just kidding. We ran one. Okay, so the rise over run for the large is six over three, and for the small it's two over one. Hmm, I wonder, how should I write a proportion for this? Well, all I have to do is put six over three is equal to two over one. Is that statement true? I'll move that out of the way. Is six over three equal to two over one? Yes, absolutely, because six divided by three is two and two divided by one is two. So this works. But if you were just asked to write a proportion comparing the rise over run for each of the similar triangles, this is all it's asking for. It wants to know the rise over run for each of the triangles and it needs to be set up in a proportion, which means there should be an equal sign in between your two fractions. This is practice problem number two. Um, so go ahead and copy this graph down. You don't have to draw the pretty house, although if you want to, it's your time, you can do it. Um, but I mainly want you to have uh, this line, cows, with the point C, O, W, and S. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. So, um, I'm going to read this problem. You do not have to write all of that. It's just a lot. Um, as long as you understand what we're looking for in the problem, that's fine by me. I'm going to read it just in case that's just too much. So the problem is a ladder is leaning up against the side of a house. This is the ladder. Um, use two points to determine the slope of the ladder. And then verify that the slope is the same by choosing two different set of points. So, for example, um, because it's a line, we can actually choose any of these points that we so want and we should get the same answer because we're trying to find the slope. So we can pick the C and the O and we can solve for the slope or we can pick the C and the S and we can find the slope. It doesn't matter what points we use. So I'm just going to pick a couple random points and we're going to verify that the slope is the same in both. Okay, so let's do C to W. I'm just randomly picking points. We could have done C, um, C to O. That could have worked also. So let's do line C, W. The slope of line C, W, the rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the run is 1, 2. So the rise over run is 4 over 2. Slope is 4 over 2. Okay, so then let's just pick two other points. Let's go from O to S. So I'm rising 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm running 1, 2, 3. So I have two different, I have um, slope for CW and slope for OS. Now I'm trying to verify that these two are the same. Since it's a line, again, it should have the same slope consistently throughout the whole line. So, what is 4 divided by 2? 2. What is 6 divided by 3? It's also 2. So, this does work. This is your practice problem for tonight. It is only one problem. Um, you can do it in one of the leftover graphs that are still in your composition book. Um, it looks like a lot of directions, but it's really not that bad. Um, just remember on this part, I'm just asking you to plot two triangles using these coordinates. And then I want you to write a proportion comparing the rise over run for similar triangles. So this is just like example number one that we did um, previously in the video.